Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a closer look at working with solid models within 1CNC. Now, in the last example, I showed you how to quickly create a solid model using the extrude curves, uh, extrude boss, and extrude cut command, and this is really the end result of that. But what I'd like to point out is that if the solid model is created somewhere else, let's say in a different CAD product, uh, or possibly a customer is, has provided you with a, a CAD model that's a solid model, a lot of times for a manufacturer, you'll need wireframe geometry to help with your 2.5 axis toolpaths and things like that. Now in this example, we already have wireframe geometry because we use that to create the model. So what I want to do is I'm going to delete, I'm going to delete the wireframe geometry. Uh, to delete something, you need to select it first. The easiest way to select all this blue geometry is head up here to our selection suite of tools and use this option right here. This will allow you to select geometry by a color. As soon as you select that, you'll get this dialog box. One CNC will scan the drawing area, and it will just display the colors that are used in here. So you can see we have gray and blue. I want to select blue, so I'm going to left-hand mouse click that. And when I'm done, I'm going to click OK. Now all the blue geometry is selected, and I'm going to hit Delete. OK, so this is what it would be like if you imported the model in. It was created somewhere else. Now let's say that you would like to create some geometry, some wireframe geometry from this solid model. We have a lot of great tools within 1CNC for doing that. Let me demonstrate a couple of those. We're going to head over here to the main toolbar, and underneath the modeling category, we're going to go to model tools. Okay, and then here you'll notice that we have some options here that are going to be really beneficial. We have extract an edge, extract surface edges, and extract the whole model. Well, extract the whole model, that's pretty easy. You just grab your model, and then 1CNC quickly creates all that geometry. Now, that's pretty neat, but in a lot of cases, you don't need everything. In fact, it might be a bit of a hindrance because we have this 3D geometry here that we really don't need. I'm going to undo that with Control-Z, but just to confirm what we just did, we used the Extract Model Tools. I just left-hand mouse click, and 1CNC created the geometry on all the edges. I'm going to control Z that to undo that. Let's take a look at this one here called Extract Surface Edges. This is really a nice one. You just take your cursor and you hover over any surface and you left hand mouse click and then one CNC will create the geometry right along the edges of that surface only. So that's a great one. I use this one a lot. Extract Surface Edges. Let's rotate it around and we'll do that one. So that's really a neat one. Okay, I'm going to undo this. So control Z on the keyboard to undo. That's like control zebra. That's just like hitting undo up here. Let's take a look at another one up here. This one's called extract an edge. Now this is designed to extract a single edge or it will extract all edges that are tangent to each other. Let me demonstrate. We're going to go with extract an edge and I want to focus on this group of edges right along here. Okay. You can see that we have this line. This line is tangent to this arc here. This arc is tangent to that line, we're tangent, we're tangent, we're tangent here, but at this intersection, there's no tangent, so you see there's a sharp corner. Same with right here, there's a sharp corner as well. But watch what happens if I use Extract Edge. I'm going to left-hand click, and one CNC is going to automatically create geometry around all the tangent edges. Okay, and so now if I want to create another edge here, I can left hand mouse click. Here, if I grab any one of these shapes, you can see that these three shapes are tangent. So if I grab that, you can see that all those guys are created. All right, up here, this is uh, another thing. There happens to be two arcs here. So if I left click, one CNC is going to create geometry right along all the tangent edges. But what if you just want to extract one edge? You don't want the tangency function to come in there. You can easily do that. Go with Extract Edge, all right? But this time, hold the Tab key down on the keyboard. As I'm holding the Tab key down, now I'm going to left click. When I do that, 1CNC just extracts just the edge that I digitize. It doesn't matter whether it's tangent to surrounding geometry or not. It'll just create just one single edge. So remember, this Extract Edge tool very powerful, as are these as well. But if you hold the Tab key down when using Extract Edge, uh, it'll extract just the one edge. Now I'm going to undo this, Control Z. That looks good. And I'm going to put some geometry in here for our subsequent manufacturing that we're going to do a little bit later on. So I'm going to use the Extract Surface Edges, and I'm going to grab that shape at the bottom. That looks good. And we are going to profile around uh, this shape right here. 
So why don't we use the extract uh, surface edges again. Let's use that one. That looks good. So that takes care of the boss geometry and takes care of this shape. And then right down here, I'd like to create some geometry as well because I might want to come in here with an end mill and profile that. So let's go with our extract a single edge and we'll just left click that and that looks great. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.